Hey everybody, this is Snowy and welcome to part 13 of Settlers 2 Return to the Roots in which we are playing against two computer opponents and in part 12 I, uh, well, kicked basically the yellow one's ass a lot and now I'm fighting against the red one um, yeah over here the red one tries to get his castle back but it is not easy for him because I'm constantly being um, resupplied by a lot of generals I stuck here in my storehouse so constantly uh, soldiers of mine are pouring in and his soldiers are dwindling and I even have uh, wow only one guy remaining over here. That's not much. <laughs> so there. Uh, okay. I'm thinking what to do. Well, I still have to beat all his beat all his soldiers anyway. So let them fight. That's the only thing I can you know figure out. Uh, let them just fight. I have plenty uh, enough soldiers to uh, to do this. This is all like uh, you can see, like this well. It's 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 piling up the the water, and not nothing is happening. Everything is going to a standstill at the yellow one. So the amount of um, enemy uh, soldiers at this castle uh, from the red player is now dwindling and I still have like yeah enough people soldiers left so how many does he still has uh, available so he is now also declining but I think he still has pretty much left in his castle so it will be a it will be a struggle to uh, to get this, and actually I want to connect uh, to this castle, and I think I will do it with just uh, a guardhouse. I think yeah. Let's get a little bit closer and how to connect this? Okay, right like that. It's the only option I have. Uh, oh, I cannot connect that. That's a pity. Ah, done. Okay. Finally. If I attack this one, I mean this one is much more easier. Create more damage. It's easier to take this little house, with which houses only two uh, enemy players, than a fortress which might house nine uh, enemies. Yes. Yay! Here we go. Poof! More fire. Yeah! Happy Easter. Oh, I can I can connect this one to that now. Okay, that's nice. Connect that one to there. Now there is only one in here, but you can see now that there will be. You see these guys now walking. They need a little bit of walking around, but they will uh, fill up this castle. So that's a good thing. Yeah, once this one has been filled up, then I can connect them, connect this directly. That means then that this, I don't know how many do I still have left, 67. Now let me think. Uh, yeah, I still need to, let me see how many do I have in. I still need to take this one. I need to take this. And can I, I, can, I cannot reach that, that's a pity. Two more. Oh, they come from here. Uh, okay.
Yeah, nine guys in here. So the question now is, uh, yeah, I will hit his uh, main castle. It's obvious by now that basically I have won the game, but it's just a formality to uh, finish it uh, off uh, properly. I want to, you know, kill every remaining piece there is. And then uh, I can consider this, uh, you know, this little series done. But this can still take a while because I know he has a lot of soldiers in his castle, so... How about here? Did I take this one? Yeah, I take that one. I even took this one, yes. And how about this one? Can I take that one also? So is that the last piece of yellow? Oh no, yellow still has like... Ooh, wait a second, here. Yeah. Oh, this one is also a yellow one. Okay, now well, let's attack that one too. Who cares? And this red one. Also attack, just attack. How about the main building? How are we doing there? I'm not sure, do I... Is there any sound uh, hearable? Hmm, I do hear some sounds, but it's like if some sounds have disappeared, I'm not sure. Oh no, they are still there, okay. Okay, so this has worked out, this has worked out, and this has worked out, that's nice. That means like that this one is not necessary anymore, okay. And also this one is not necessary anymore. Yes, and this one can also, yeah, be put away. So the generals can get over here. We put this one on fire. <laughs> yeah. And we yeah, we connect this one to there because it's now possible. You know what? Let's you know the enemy can only attack from a military building. So the best thing is to attack military buildings. I can attack his main castle, but he cannot attack me from his main castle. So that's the reason why I'm now attacking this, yeah, this building over here, this uh, watchtower. And hopefully I will get it. And then later on I try to get his, this uh, fortress. Because the red one also has no more real real estate he is trying to get this one probably will fail not sure about that let's just see yeah i got this one okay that's nice and also i can connect that straightly to here it's also nice so all this capturing of these uh, buildings will <laughs> i had like nearly 200 generals over here but now i have like wow so the only thing that would be working is like, um, yeah, removing, yeah, basically these, these buildings, they have no purpose anymore. Can I take this castle? That's the question. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, I already have. <laughs> nice. So this one is remaining. This is the last one of red, I suppose. Yep, it is. Oh, the yellow one is gone. Yep, the yellow one is gone. Now this is the last, uh, yeah, the last watchtower of uh, red.
So after, yeah, I got that one now also. So that means that, um, yeah, I can take down all these buildings now. This one can be put away. This one can be put away, uh, but not too fast. Otherwise, my soldiers cannot find a way back. Now let's keep this because this is just the main infrastructure and yeah, so only what is left is uh, this and I would just say like attack with everything I've got head on, straight on, directly put this away and this will take maybe I don't know how long I see I, I'm fighting privates now so it might be earlier done than uh, expected because he probably does not have many generals left so these guys with the brown hair these are like uh, a level lower than a general It's like I don't hear the sounds of the the rattling of the you know the sabers anymore. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if 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 you are hearing the same thing or not hearing the same thing. Yeah, it can take some time because he is not done yet look because this line is still not down to the bottom so he still has military present in there the only thing I can do is like let's see I can destroy this one and yeah yeah Also destroyed that one, it's not needed anymore. So this was a um, yeah, pretty um, hefty battle, especially in episode 6 I was uh, I was pushed back uh, pretty uh, firmly by the yellow player. But uh, with some uh, scheming and plotting and uh, keeping him from building certain buildings, I kept him at bay. And at the meantime, I built up my army to more generals and more generals. And at the same time, I was doing counterattacks to him as well. And eventually, yes, I managed to turn the tides. And uh, the red one was the first one I had the war with that made me weak uh, at the first place. While the yellow one was basically uh, well, doing nothing. The yellow one was at first like, yeah, let's let them fight so I can grow in strength and. Uh, but uh, yeah, eventually I uh, prevailed against two uh, medium computers and I think, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, not bad. Especially if you think about it, I mean, the computer opponent in Return to the Roots is much more devious than, uh, than in the origin original game. <laughs> Look at those guys fighting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the question is when will his castle fall? How long will it take? Mm. Well, I think it will be done in this uh, last, I think last episode uh, 13, lucky number 13. <laughs> I will just send in all soldiers I have. I will also delete more 
other buildings which I do not require anymore like this one can be put away and also this one can be put away yeah let's give these guys a flag so they can walk home Now this seems a little bit silly, but uh, well, because maybe, I don't know, just building uh, fortresses around him, because he still has a... Uh, as you can see, I don't have many soldiers there, and um, yeah, I want to really surround him, I can only attack him with so many soldiers at once so how many do I still have left here do I even have uh, oh that's the wrong one this one only 10 what so and how many 220 of those guys what the? okay let's co disconnect this stuff and Let's just do the, you know, thing we are good at. Oh, I forgot something about the main castle. Yeah. Put these guys in reserve. A lot of them. A whole bunch of them, actually. My finger! Okay. Now, send the grunts back. Because I know that the red player cannot attack me anymore, even if I still have only one player, uh, one uh, soldier, one general in here. He cannot attack me because he does not have any military building. The yellow player is defeated, no sign of him anymore. You see the, the carcasses are even steadily disappearing into the ground. So <laughs> they were even that genius in 1996 by figuring that out. And uh, yeah, yeah, to be honest, you know, the Settlers 2 was, my, was and will always be my favorite game from the entire Settlers series. When I when Settlers 3 came out, then the game went all three-dimensional and it was like, I did not like it, and every game that came after it, I did not like it. They made a remake of this game, and for some reason I did not like it either, because nothing was added. Only a few graphics were improved, but that was it. I mean, the way this game works, just by watching it from this angle, that works best. And it would be much more fun if, if there were even more options available, you know, um, more buildings, more functions, and you know, if I think, for example, uh, of City Skylines, now that is a complete, completely other game, then it's like, you know, look what that game can do, and think about the aspects that you could put in the settlers. But maybe a, a, a modern variant of the settlers. So like, for example, um, have building a modern day colony, for example, and then encounter a uh, technological advanced uh, race. Maybe even aliens, uh, but not. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He's putting in, he's putting in what? These guys in there? Well, there are coins um, hmm, present, so okay. Why is he doing that? Why did he not use the. the gen oh, I did not connect these up again. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. 
And of course, these generals I did not. <laughs> yeah, I was too busy with talking to you guys. <laughs> okay, well, let's remove these generals so they can get, get back to this storehouse. Oh, look at those coins. Because all the grunts, which I had plenty, they need like, uh, like for here for example, they all need like training, 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 training. And yes, that will definitely give like a military strength boost. So judging by this line, so it's like we are now at 20 minutes and let's see. We are just in time to, let's see how many, no, wrong again. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just in time to uh, to have these generals going towards these buildings. Only this one uh, remains. Take the short route. Then we are ready for our final assault on the castle of uh, of our enemy. Of our previous enemy, our first enemy that uh, attacked us first in the very beginning. I don't know which episode, maybe episode mm, one, one or two. Now this map is not uh, that very big in the mountains. It's a nice map because I played this map before, so I know where the gold and the in the coal are roughly are and but with return to the roots there is more how shall i say it i can i can make it myself a, a lot more difficult so anyway so let's attack this uh, guy you can now see now because i have more buildings around him i can attack him with like you have s several options you can choose from like minimum amount well Number of attackers is 9, 18, 27, or the maximum. No, we choose for the maximum when we. Um, you can even choose for weak attackers. Now, I don't know why you would even do such a thing and why this option would be there. You would always like to attack with strong attackers. Unless, of course, you have like a combination of weak and strong attackers and you want to maintain your stronger guys in your castle in your fortress but I never I never select this option so let's get this uh, remaining uh, yeah adversary and uh, and let's be done with it Well, this is just a waiting game. I don't think it will last that long anymore because he was already nearly uh, depleted. Puff, there he go. Yeah, computer. He says also, you win. Yay, yeah, I won. And it's now not like that the game suddenly ends, no, because in the beginning I set the game goal as none. If I had set like total domination or conquer like three quarters of the map, as soon as that happened then the game would have stopped. But if you want you can just play on the game and even, you know, colonize the entire map and just go on. But yeah, and there is no really uh, any point uh, in doing so. So we will just, you know, watch and see how this uh, unfolds and then eventually... Yeah, there will be nobody left. When this happens, I always uh, was watching like, which one of the, the reds uh, would remain walking last? I mean, which one will fall down to the ground as the last person? Yep, they're getting less. Let's 
focus on this one. He will just... He, yeah, he fell down. Is there even a red guy left? Nope, they are all... They are all gone. So that was it. I own the place. It's all mine. Yes. Lucky number 13. So basically the game has no uh, no purpose anymore. Yeah, you can like build... Um, you can go build on. But like I said, there is no purpose anymore because there's no enemy anymore. So I would say like, okay, I would save, um, save the game. Lost cause, which I still want <laughs> anyway. <laughs> In the mountains also safe like that so it didn't say like surrender I have surrender <laughs> yeah oh, let's see return to the roots and it says like 2005 until well 2020 so it it this proves that this um, branch return to the roots is still pretty active because 2020 that's like how old? I mean, what date? The date today is like the 9th of January today that I'm recording this. Probably I will be uploading this uh, a lot later. But um, yeah, I've recorded several episodes uh, at once because I was like, yeah, it was going on pretty nicely. So um, yeah. So guys, if you have any questions about this game, um, about the workings, uh, about maybe some buildings, or how how some basic things even work, or yeah, how the whole game works, you can always ask me in the comment section. It is um, basically too much to simply explain in just one go. And I hope that this uh, series will well tell you a little bit about the uh, workings of the game, like you know what is required and what needs what. I mean, you have like uh, this bakery which requires. I mean, the symbols will definitely tell you what it needs. I mean, it requires the this flour and water to create like bread. I mean. It's simple as that. This building is just oh, this building is just a farm. You don't see any product that uh, it, is, it is making out of two other products. This is basically uh, an extractor, as we call it. And like, if you take the gold mint, it requires raw gold getting out of the ground in combination with coal, and they will create coins. And with these coins, they will be brought to the castle or to your fortresses and with these coins your grunts, your privates are trained to become the strongest units which are generals now if we check out how many we still have in stock then this is the um, total amount I still have I still exactly have 300 generals and 147 grunts, privates you see these are privates and a few of these these are in-betweens usually these will disappear because the gold will make sure that these will be trained until until they become generals or they are in the castle that is possible uh, this number would basically uh, keep growing as long as you know iron ore is converted into uh, swords and shields and the beer is coming in so many people do not know that, that the combination of beer, beer, a sword, and a shield will create a soldier. So that's why this is disappearing every time, and this one is growing every time. So that's something, uh, yeah, you definitely uh, need to know. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you want to see more games, uh, then uh, subscribe to the channel if you like it, and uh, like uh, the videos if you uh, liked these videos. I mean, this is a real classic. Maybe you want to see me play Settlers 1, the, the very original one. 
Now I'm not sure if I can do that uh, on the PC because this one has been altered by Return to the Root so it can be played on uh, a Windows 10 machine. So uh, yeah. So feel free to uh, you know put anything in the comments. I'm open for anything and uh, I would say thank you for watching and uh, I see you the next time. See you guys. Bye bye.